buyers. Stop doing this. It's no longer relevant. The market has shifted and you want to stop doing this immediately. Do this. As a buyer, have you ever wrote one of these letters when you made an offer to purchase property? You're like, ah, oh, I'm up against multiple offers. What do we do? Nicole, what do we do? Should we write a story about ourselves? Should we tell them about ourselves? Should we have a cute little picture of our family? Should we tell them how much we love their home? How we can't wait to spend Christmas there? Eh, wrong, stop it. Survey says, eh. You have to stop doing this immediately. And all the buyers that I am taking on and that I am starting to work with now, I tell them this, we can't write a pick me letter anymore. Also known as buyer love letter, pick me letter, a cover letter, an about me. We've got to stop doing that. Only reason a seller should be picking your offer is based off of how strong of a buyer you are, your financials, your pre-approval letter, and your terms of the offer. So it really comes down to a little more of the business side of things. How good of a buyer are you and how financially strong are you? Can you afford to buy this property? That is really the only decision that sellers are going to make going forward um, about who they buy their property. And it's because we're having a lot of fair housing law problems. So what happens when you buy a, when you're writing a letter about yourself is that you are exposing a seller to discriminating against other buyers by sharing a picture of who you are, your family, your religion. So let's wind, let's back back the truck up a little bit. So fair housing laws um, and protected classes. What is fair housing laws in a protected class? Well, that's anything that's race, color, religion, sexual orientation, national origin, familial status, and here in Utah, it's source of income. So alimony is considered a source of income. You cannot discriminate against that, as well as your gender identity. Any of the, and a lot of these things can be revealed in these letters when you're telling sellers about yourself and the number of children you have and how your friends in the same ward live in the same neighborhood and we're, our friends are longtime residents of here. We're, we're the best for this neighborhood. A seller could be at severe legal risk by accepting this offer. So what we're seeing in the market, but you need to know as a buyer is that sellers are basically, sellers agents are basically saying, hey, no letters don't write them. I'm not even going to deliver them to my seller. So it's a big waste of time. What are you doing? Stop this. Only thing that should be delivered as a message to the seller is how strong of a buyer you are, how likely you are to close, how strong, how willing you are to perform, your financials, the purchase price, and the terms of the contract. Those are the only things that a buyer should that a buyer should be really revealing about themselves and those are the only things that a seller should be accepting a offer for. So stop writing letters about yourself, post with pictures of your family because the days of this have come and gone and it's just become something that the National Association of Realtors is really cracking down on because we're seeing lawsuits that buyers actually feel like they were discriminated against in multiple offers because they revealed their race or their sexual orientation or their religion and a seller went a different way. And if a buyer is able to prove that, then the seller has a ginormous lawsuit at their doorstep. So we're trying to eliminate these things completely. Don't write these buyer love letter, pick me letters. The only thing you need to write about yourself is how qualified you are to actually buy the home. But I assure you, I am qualified. So that really puts a little fire under your bum to be a strong, worthy buyer and have good financial status, good pre-approval letter, and good terms when you write the offer. If you like this video, make sure you boop the like button and check out more videos in my library. My contact information is always located in the description down below. Mm -hmm.